Ever feel like you're drowning in data, too many problems, not enough time? What if the key to progress isn't doing more, but focusing on less? Pareto helps us cut through the noise and focus on the few things that really matter. The team starts by listing every possible reason the assets could fail. The result? A wall of bars. Every one of them demanding attention. This is the reality for many organizations, so much data and limited time, budget, and people. The team feels stuck, asking, what do we fix first? What happens when the team sorts the bars from highest to lowest? Suddenly, a pattern appears. Just a handful of factors account for most of the asset failures. And that's the turning point, from feeling overwhelmed to knowing where to act first. Suddenly, the noise fades. The frustration shifts to awareness, the team can see the vital few where to focus its attention. Instead of chasing dozens of small issues, the team can target the few causes that matter most, those that account for most of the risk and cost. This is where Pareto analysis changes the game, it helps the organization move from reaction to strategy, from frustration to confidence. In an earlier video, we explored the DIKW pyramid, how raw data evolves into wisdom. Pareto analysis helps us climb that pyramid. It transforms a flat list of root causes, the data, into a ranked list, the information. From there, we gain understanding of why failures occur, knowledge, which guides our wisdom in deciding where to act first. Pareto doesn't just organize information, it sharpens insight. Pareto analysis isn't just about charts and curves, it's about focus. Whether we're managing motors, pipelines, or maintenance budgets, the principle is the same, a small number of causes usually drive most of the outcomes. Pareto helps us see those patterns clearly. It's a lens that turns complexity into clarity, across every corner of asset management. On the left, we have Organization A, a complex environment with dozens of failure modes competing for attention. Everything looks important, and the team feels overwhelmed. They need Pareto analysis to cut through the noise, to find the few that matter most. But on the right, Organization B lives in a simpler world they don't need to hunt for the vital few, because the causes are already obvious. The takeaway? Pareto isn't for every problem. It's for when the noise drowns out the signal. Pareto helps us cut through the noise. And ABC analysis provides a more refined breakdown of priorities. But prioritization is only the beginning. The next challenge is choosing how much to invest, where, and when, balancing cost, risk, and performance. That's where the next tool comes in, multi-criteria decision analysis. It builds on Pareto's clarity, helping us move from prioritization to optimization. Join us in the next video as we move beyond prioritization and explore how to optimize decisions for maximum impact.